In the last video, I talked about the different kinds of properties that are present on the periodic table and that an atom has. And in this video, I want to talk about where the periodic trends are. You know, how does ionization energy change as we move left to right on periodic table? So let's get started. So the ionization energy was the energy required to remove an electron from its atom. And so we would imagine that if we moved left to right, the ionization energy will increase. The ionization energy. So, and the reason for this is that we start and all of the atoms, or all of the, the atoms moving across the periodic table, they all want to be noble gases. They all want to have a full octet, they all want to have full shells. And so the closer they are, you know, if we're here and we move over to an atom that's on, like, somewhere along here, then this one is closer to being a full octet and it's going to see, it's going to be saying that, hey, I want these electrons, I, I'm closer to being a noble gas, don't take them away from me. And so we will have to add more energy in order to remove the electrons. And that's why ionization energy will increase as we move left to right. Now, ionization energy will decrease down a table. And the reason for that is because we've added so many more electrons. I mean, if we, have, if we look at an atom right there, then it has a moderate amount of electrons. But then if we compare it to an atom right here, I mean, it has way more shells added. It has way more electrons. And so since we're trying to remove an electron from the outer shells, it doesn't take as much. I mean, it's really like if we wanted to siege a city, it's easier to, to siege the houses around it because they're not as protected from the city. And so if we move down, if we have many more electrons moving down the groups, then our ionization energy will be less. It will take less energy to remove an electron. Now, the atomic radius, the size of the electron, which is, if we remember, it was the size of the, sorry, not the size of the atom, the size of the, sorry, not the size of the electron, the size of the atom that holds the electrons. That will increase as we go down the atomic radius. That increases as we go down because just as it relates to ionization energy, if we go to here, we've added so many more shells and electrons that the size of the atom will increase. I mean, if we have a small atom and we add shell after shell after shell, then we've increased the atomic radius. And that's why atomic radius will increase as we move down. However, atomic radius will decrease as we move from left to right. So as we move from right to left, the atomic radius will increase. And that seems counterproductive to what I just said because as we start, if we, go, if we go from here and we're adding electrons over here, then this one is going to have less electrons than this atom here. And you might think, well, then the atomic radius must increase. But that's not true because as we add more protons across the same level, like if we move, if we just focus on this group, then as we move from here to here, we're adding more protons, but we don't have full shells. So we're not increasing the amount of shells, but we are increasing the amount of protons. So it has a more positive charge. So if the proton, you know, if, we're, if we have sh a certain amount of shells and we're just adding electrons to the shell because we're on the same you know, level, then if we keep adding protons, and these yellow circles are protons, then they have more pull on the electrons and they pull them into a tighter space. So they cram them into a smaller space and that's why the atomic radius decreases as we go left to right. And so now what about effective nuclear charge? The effective nuclear charge is how much of that positive energy here does an outside electron see? And so the effective nuclear charge will decrease and find a new color for this. The effective nuclear charge increases as we move up. And this is the 
effective nuclear charge. So it will increase as we move up, and the effective nuclear charge will also increase as we move left to right. And the reason for this is because we have, okay, well, first off, if you know the formula for effective nuclear charge, it's the number of electrons minus the number of non valence electrons. Should I'm not 100% sure, non valence electrons. So it's the number of electrons minus the number of non-valence electrons. And so as we move left to right, we end up with more protons, you know, just as we talked about with the atomic radius, we end up with more protons for the same amount of shells, or roughly the same amount of shells. So the non-valence electrons will uh, increase the number of Sorry, the, yeah, the number of non-valence electrons will roughly stay the same, and, but the number of total electrons, sorry, I mixed this up, okay. So the number of electrons total, including the valence electrons, minus the number of non-valence electrons. So as we have more valence electrons, but we have the same amount of non-valence electrons, we will see that our, our effective nuclear charge will increase. And it will also decrease as we go down, and that's because since the atomic radius increases, since they're farther away, they will, by definition, see less of that proton's positive charge, and so the effective nuclear charge will be lower. Now, electron affinity is the change in energy when an electron is added to a neutral atom. And so, related to ionization energy, if that electron really is really wanted by that atom, then that atom is going to do everything it can to make sure that you can't remove it. And so if you have a high ionization energy, it's going to say, hey, no, we like this electron, you can't take it, you need a lot of energy in order to convince us to sell it to you. And so with electron affinity, it's the same. So as basically as ionization energy changes, electron affinity will also change. So if electron or ionization energy increases, electron affinity will increase. So electron affinity will increase left to right, and it will decrease like ionization energy down a table. And this is sort of an overview of the periodic trends that you will find in the periodic table.